Still from the chair. Yeah, thanks, uh, Senator Roberts. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. Thank you all for appearing here today. I've got three questions. I uh, hope, hope we can get through them. Uh, bodily autonomy and informed consent are vital. They're, they're primary considerations amongst humans, yet they're not included in so many of the uh, specific matters that are considered by various departments, including yours, as I understand it. And I suggest that that's because they're innate. They're so universally accepted. Is there any reason, the, these, both these bills before you and before us, deal with discrimination, preventing discrimination based on COVID vaccines, COVID vaccines. Is there any reason why these bills should not be done, Mr. Furlong, Ms. Parker? In terms of the evidence, the information I can provide you with today, Senator, um, and the committee, it's information about the expenditure of the commission, resourcing, statistics on the use of our commission services in relation to, to, to vaccination cases, if, if, you, if you need it. Um, and other matters going to the Commission's operations. As I uh, indicated in my opening statement, the, uh, the Commission does not enter discussion and provide any guidance or information on um, the, what doesn't enter the policy debate. Ms Parker? Yeah, I'm sorry, Senator. I am going to say the same thing. I mean, obviously, if these bills uh, were to pass, then, uh, then we would treat this particular protected attribute, if you want to call it that, same way, you know, in, in similar way than we already uh, treat the previous, the ones I previously provided. Um, and so that would cover adverse action around, you know, employees or prospective employees, uh, hiring, dismissing, altering the position of an employee to the employee's prejudice on the basis of an attribute. Uh, so it would obviously, that we would obviously have to look at the limits of uh, on other discrimination grounds in the Fair Work Act. So, you know, if, a, if an employer, for example, can prove that COVID-19, a COVID-19 vaccination or another vaccination is an inherent requirement of the position, uh, then it may well be found not to be in breach of an anti-discrimination ground. But that would be very case specific and would have to be assessed and worked through on a case by case basis. Thank you. <clears throat> Now, come back to you, uh, Ms. Parker. You were very uh, direct in saying that there were, and, and frank, and, and it, it was impressive that you said there were so many new issues you had to deal with under COVID. So many things were unclear. I know that's a word that public servants don't like to hear. It's more fluid. Is that the better way of saying it? Things are fluid. But you mentioned public health. That's an all-powerful concept that's, and this is not a reflection on you, that has become that has entered the vernacular of this country and, and several Western countries, but it's nonsense. It's a powerful concept, yet no, no such thing exists. Could you tell me what you mean by public health, please? Yes, yeah, so, Senator, we probably, you might uh, consider we take an easy way out. That's not for us to determine. Uh, so what we do uh, is we reflect what state and territory laws in relation to health, of which they have jurisdiction, uh, require. So I don't have a view on public health. What we do is say to people, if you are in Victoria and there's a public health order that has been created and through that Victorian parliament, then you are required to adhere to that public health order. And that's the advice we put on our website. Now we don't debate what's in that or how that applies, but we provide advice to people on what they are required to do under that order. Okay, thank you. Uh, so the public health, is in your case, it's, it's not using that uh, that concept. It's just public health order that follows that the health bureaucrats That's have right. used to create a public health. Right. Okay. Got That's it. That's right. Okay, Mr. Furlong. Last question. Uh, fundamental issue for the Fair Work uh, Commission is protection of workers and their entitlements, protections of small businesses and their entitlements, protections of all employers and their entitlements and employees. Is that correct? Uh, the, the, the role, the functions, the operational remit of the Fair Work Ombudsman um, is to provide education, advice and compliance in relation to the, 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 the National Workplace Relations System. Of the, of the Commission? No, the Fair Work Ombudsman. No, I'm right. asking the Commission. Yes. So the, the Commission deals, the, the functions of the Commission, um, uh, as I sort of traversed at the start of, um, with my um, with the opening statement, um, it is a, the tribunal deals with a number of matters about disputes in workplaces. Um, it sets minimum standards. Protecting workers' rights, employers' rights, employees' rights. Yes. Thank you.
Good, thanks. I now go to um, Senator Canavan. Uh, thank you, Senator.